Hi there, in today's video we are going to see how can you actually retract the flaps on board the Boeing 77-800 during the initial climb and the takeoff like a professional pilot. I'm sure you have done this uh, flap retraction after the takeoff many times when you were doing uh, some sim, some simulator uh, flights, okay, some simulated flights. However, in today's video I will explain and you will be able to do and retract the flaps like a professional pilot. There are a few things that you need to check when retracting the flaps. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. V1, rotate. Hi there, I'm Gabriele from PilotClimb.com. I help you to become a better pilot. Whether you are a simmer or you are a professional pilot or a pilot or a student pilot that needs some help, go to PilotClimb.com where you can check my services. Okay, a little bit too much of talking already, so let's really dive into the today's topic, okay? So guys, the flap retraction throughout the takeoff, okay? Depending on your uh, aircraft weight, depending on the runway, and I made a separate video, you need to choose a takeoff flap for your takeoff. In today's video, we are going to perform a flaps 25 takeoff as you can see in here we've got the flaps 25 and flaps 25 is selected in there okay so first of all flaps 25 takeoff the weather in our case is basically wind calm we've got some clouds around but it's a, it's a very very good uh, good weather around okay there is not really a big uh, it's, it's, it's a cavalcade day basically okay so where we i want you to be focused today we're gonna take off at the rotate we're gonna do the rotation we're gonna climb to the 1000 feet above feet level and at the moment we are at Alguero is where I'm from so we, uh, the height of the height of the airport of Alguero is 80 feet so at 1100 feet pretty much okay we will gonna accelerate and we will retract the flaps uh, on schedule okay so but how do we do that okay there are two things that we need to make sure we know and we check when retracting the flaps the first thing is called the speed trend vector. The Boeing 77-800 has got a speed trend vector that basically is an, a green arrow that goes from the higher speed, like in this case we've got 45 knots, we're not, we not flying at 45 knots, we're actually uh, at zero knots, but this, let's, let's imagine that this is our uh, speed, 45 knots, okay? The trend vector, the speed trend vector, you will see when we are going to take off and climb, is, that, is a green arrow that goes out in there and it will tell you where is going to be your speed in the next 10 seconds. So if you are in an acceleration, if you are if you're accelerating your aircraft, you will see that the speed trend vector is going to move upwards and it will indicate a, like a green arrow indicating you where, which is going to be your speed in 10 seconds. The same applies uh, if you are decelerating the aircraft, the, the, the speed trend vector is going to go out from your airspeed with an arrow that goes, uh, that basically goes uh, downward, okay, Bas because it's indicating that you are actually decelerating, okay. So the first thing that we need to make sure that we've got when we are retracting the flaps is a positive speed trend vector, so that means that you are accelerating, okay. If you are not accelerating or you are decelerating, you cannot retract the flaps. So this is the first thing that we need to make sure because we're going to arrive, as we said, at 1000 feet. We will accelerate to 210 knots. Okay, so we will set 210 knots in there and the speed trend vector will start to increase. Okay, when this speed trend vector with a positive speed trend vector and above certain speed, we can start to retract the flaps. Okay. So as we said, guys, we've got flaps 25 takeoff. So what we will see, you will see that we're gonna have a white bug like this one, like this IT knot, but we're gonna have an, a white bug, okay? Which is going to be exactly located at 158 knots because this white bug that you will see later in the airspeed indicator is gonna indicate a speed of V2 plus 15. So during the takeoff, we need to maintain that speed as a minimum, okay? And once we arrive at 1000 feet, guys, we will accelerate. And once we are above V2 plus 15, that means the white bug and we are we have a positive speed trend vector we can actually retract the flaps from 25 to 15 in there so we're gonna go 25 and then 15 then after that we do that you will see that in here on the airspeed indicator you're gonna have this green information in there but it's gonna be a number with an indication the number indicates that the flaps minimum maneuvering speed and this is another thing that you really need to know and understand before retracting the flaps 
like a professional pilot. What is the minimum uh, minimum maneuvering speed for a specific flap setting? Because we're gonna have a minimum maneuvering speed for flap 15, minimum maneuvering speed for flap 5, minimum maneuvering speed for flap 2, 1 and, and up. Okay, so what it is, you will see that there will be the number of the flap with a green indication, your airspeed indicator. That means that that one, that speed that is indicated in the airspeed indicator, and we will see this in a second shortly after takeoff, that means that, is that that is the minimum speed that you can fly at with that flap setting. So, let's say it's a lot more clear when you're approaching. Let's say you are flying, okay, you want to reduce the speed. What will happen is you're going to have a, a minimum maneuver speed for flaps up, Okay, so you will see in here on the airspeed indicator up with a with a green uh, green line. Okay, and that is the minimum speed at which you can fly with flap up. If you want to reduce the speed further, you need to start to um, uh, lower. You need to start to uh, extend the flaps. So you will set flap one, and you will see that on the airspeed tape you're gonna have flap one minimum maneuvering speed. If you want to reduce the speed even farther, because as we said, guys, the minimum maneuvering speed is the minimum speed at which you can fly without specific flap set. And if you want to reduce the speed even more, you need to extend more flaps, because when you extend flaps, you increase the drag, but you also increase the coefficient of lift of the wing. Thus, you decrease the stall speed, all right? So, but you will see that during the takeoff, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to basically freeze the simulator a few times, and we're going to talk about what we are doing there. Okay, so I'm gonna set the QNH in there. All right, guys, just very quickly, performance-wise, guys, we've got a 69.3 tons uh, aircraft weight. We're gonna climb to 5,000 feet. At 1,000 feet, I will engage the autopilot and start the acceleration. Then we're gonna talk about what we need to check in order to retract the flaps. Okay, it's going to be a 24K departure, and the takeoff is going to be flap 25. We've got V1, 136, VR, 136, V2, 143. All right, so, I think we are fully ready, everything is complete, let me try to do a config check just to make sure that everything is fine, yes, everything looks uh, looks good, beautiful, so if you are okay, we can actually start the timing here, there we go, and let's start, let's put 40% of N1, stabilized, let's push Toga, here we go. The go thrust set indications normal. Okay, guys, let me stop the simulator here. Okay, look at the airspeed indicator. All right, so this is the speed trend vector that I was telling you before. Okay, so the green arrow indicates is indicating us that we are accelerating. The green arrow indicates where it's going to be your speed in the next 10 seconds. So his prediction is that our speed is going to be around there in the next 10 seconds. Okay, so this is the speed trend vector. You must have a positive speed trend vector before retracting the flaps. Okay, so let's carry on. Let's check. Okay, guys, so let's stop again the simulator in here and look at this, okay? So we've got, as we said, we've got the white bug which indicates V2 plus 15, so 158 knots, guys, because if our V2 that is in here, 153, sorry, 143 plus 15 means 158, okay? This is the bug that indicates your white, white bug is V2 plus 15, and this is the minimum speed that you should maintain to your initial climb until the 1,000 feet, before we actually, then after after 1,000 feet, one, uh, after, sorry, after 1,000 feet, we accelerate the aircraft and we extract the flaps. Look at this, guys. This is the white bug, V2 plus 15. This is the 15, is the minimum uh, maneuvering speed for flap 15. This flap 5 is the minimum maneuvering speed for flap 5. 1 is the minimum maneuvering speed for flap 1. And here up there it says up is the minimum speed for the flaps up okay so at 1100 feet we engage the top part and assign the speed to the up so we allow the aircraft to accelerate and then we will see what we need to do and what we need to check in order to retract the flaps and when we can actually retract the flaps okay so let's carry on now let's climb to the 1100 feet so i need to maintain this uh, v2 plus 15 minimum check select So 
but maintain with 2 plus 15 minimum guys and I keep climbing to the 1100 feet. Okay now I, I engage auto pilot and I set the speed to up. Alright, so let me stop the simulator again guys. So now we've got autopilot command command is inserted, okay. I set the speed to 250, which is the up speed, okay. And now you will see that as we said, now look at this, we've got flap 25 in there, okay, and we have the speed at V2 plus 15. So the first thing that we need to make sure we've got in order to go from flap 25 to flap 15, we need to be above the white bug with a positive speed trend vector. So now we are above the white bug, guys, but we don't have a positive speed trend vector. Thus, we cannot retract the flaps to 15, okay? So what will happen? We're going to have a positive speed trend vector and we retract the flaps to 15. Then we wait until the speed is going to go above flap 15 with a positive speed trend vector and we set flap 5, okay? So then we wait until we are above flap 5 with a positive speed trend vector and we set flap 1. And then once we've got flap 1, where we are above flap 1 with a positive speed trend vector, we're going to set flap up, okay? A question that you may ask is, Okay, beautiful. Let's say now, let's say, let's imagine that now we've got a positive speed trend vector and we are flap 25. If I select flap 15 now, we're gonna be below the flap 15 minimum maneuver speed, right? So that is actually correct. But the thing is, guys, because that's why we need a positive speed trend vector. And then as well, what happens is that we don't go straight uh, from flap 25 to flap 15, like in uh, in, zero, in 0 0.1 second, okay? It's going to take a little bit of time, and that's why we need an acceleration, because by the time the flap is going to be 15, we're going to be most probably above flap 15 knots. Okay, uh, sorry, flap 15, uh, minimum of speed for flap 15, and so on. That's why it's a common practice, even though you can do it, it's a common practice to wait a little bit before attracting the flaps to flap 1, for example, because... Here you're going to be a flap 15, okay, so we retract the flaps 15, then you're going to be a flap 5, and what happens is that in here, okay guys, once you cross the flap 5 with a positive speed trend vector, you can actually set flap 1, and you will see that from flap 5 to flap 1, if the aircraft uh, is, is heavy, you might end up having flap 1 before the minimum maneuvering speed, so flying at lower speed than the minimum maneuvering speed. That's why, we're, especially when you are heavy, we normally try to wait a little bit in order not to do that these uh, these things okay but we're gonna see it in a sec all right so let's carry on now look at the speed okay so now we have a pause the speed trend vector so i set flat 15 okay so now look now we've got exactly flat 15 in there and we are exactly above the flat the flat 15 minimum of speed now guys once you have above, once you are above flap 15 minimum maneuver speed with a positive speed trend vector, you can actually retract the flap from flap 15 to flap 5. Okay, so let's do it. Now we are above flap 15, so flap 5. And as you can see, look guys, I, I already retracted the flaps to 5, so the lever is at flap 5, you see, in there, lever flap 5. However, the flaps are still in 10 because it's going to take a little bit of time to retract from flap 15. 15 to flap 5 so that's why you can do it so even though you have the flap 5 lever already selected and you are uh, you are uh, below the minimum of speed it's fine because you still have flap 10 because the retraction of the flap will take a little bit of time now one, the next thing is going to be flap 5, we're going to have flap 5, we're going to be above flap 5 minimum maneuver speed, and once we are above minimum maneuver speed for flap 5, with a positive speed and vector, you can actually go to flap 1, okay? So let's carry on. So now we've got flap 5, and as you can see, we've got above minimum maneuver speed, so we can select flap 1. Okay, guys, look again. It's very important that we understand this. So we select flap one, and we are or we are below the minimum maneuver speed. You can say yes, but you told us that we cannot fly below minimum maneuver speed, and that's why you you are not a flap one already. You have between flap five and flap two, and, and you are getting close to the one speed. So once you get to the flap one, you're gonna be above, above minimum maneuver speed. Okay. So let's monitor this. Okay. Look. So we are. Approaching flap one minimum maneuver speed, and now we've got flaps one. And so now we can now, guys, we've got flap one, 
above flap one minimum run speed, positive trend vector, we can actually set flap up. Okay? So flap up. Look at the flap in there and look at the flap, uh, the up speed, okay? So, and now we've got flap up, minimum maneuvering speed is in there with the flaps up and everything is fine, okay? Once you've got flaps up, no light, depending on the operations, guys, you can arm actually VNAV and fly, but with, let's say, let's say uh, 240 knots for this climb, okay? There we go. So, guys, this is, let me stop the simulator in here. This is going to be, guys, a short video, but it is very important to understand the speed trend vector at the minimum maneuvering speed and how it works. Because even though you set the flap setting like uh, below the minimum maneuvering speed, that doesn't mean that you are unsafe. It's because simply the flaps going to take a bit of time to retract. By the time your flaps are retracted to that maneuvering speed, you should be above that specific maneuvering speed. Okay, so I hope I helped a little bit, uh, helped you a little bit to understand how. Can you retract the flaps uh, in, a, in a professional way? If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And also go to pilotclimb.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training content. I wish you a good day and I'll see you on the next one. Check, we can set to 7-0 please.